go where I want. Good. Yeah. I go where I want. Good. Hey, hello. How are you? <laughs> it's been a while since I did that, huh? <laughs> hey, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Or if this is your first time seeing my face, welcome. Over here, I am a woman who shares my many journeys of life. Most recently, I would say more often, it would be my home buying, fixer upper, renovating, before and after DIY type content, where I just bring y'all along with the process of what I am doing with my home. I have literally documented my journey from the very, very beginning. We sprinkle in some shop with me, some home decor, really whatever is on my heart to share. We get things done over here but ultimately i hope this is a space where you can come to be inspired motivated and reminded that you are capable so if that is your kind of thing feel free to subscribe join the tribe we would love to have you elephant in a room for the tribe yes girl it is me <laughs> fun fact i am very visually impaired blind as a bat to be specific and my eyeballs need a break so glasses it is not my favorite but we nerd gang in it out in this video so Hashtag nerd gang in the comments. Anywho, we're not gonna sit here and chit chat, okay? I woke up this morning and I felt that I needed some inspiration. So I said, you know what? Today we are gonna go outside. We are gonna hit up home stores, see what is out there, get inspired. I have been outside in my backyard. I have been in my front yard. I have been in my house. I've been everywhere, but out in the world to see what's out there and get inspired. And I just got this feeling that I need it. So if anybody is like me, this is where you can grab a drink, grab a snack, sit back. I'm going to do some shopping for you and show you what is out there. And we can get inspired together. And I just browsing through the aisles, looking at home decor. I want to find inspiration for what we can put on our patios, our balconies, back doors, front doors, front porches, outdoor spaces. Maybe some home decor in the mix, you know. Probably see that as well. But y'all heard Beyonce outside with it <laughs> so get excited because that is what we are doing in today's video you probably notice it's a different scenery we're in the master bedroom we are not here often well i am but you aren't <laughs> i have unintentionally brought y'all along with me in my sleeping slash bedding journey and what i mean by that is y'all know that i had a bad habit of sleeping on the couch y'all know that i have back pains neck pains y'all know if you follow me on my vlog channel Shondaland, the whole fiasco of my master bedroom. It has been a slow uphill battle and I have literally shared every step with y'all. <laughs> so it is only right that I share with you today's sponsor, Marlo. Now Marlo is a pillow brand designed to give you better sleep and it's actually a sister brand of Brooklinen. Now I cannot explain to you how comfortable these pillows are y'all. I can show you but I'm not gonna tell you. Well I'm gonna show you and tell you. Give me a second. So I had to back up a little bit because I have a king size. Look at the size of this, oh my goodness. Okay, now this pillow is filled with chopped memory foam to contour to your neck. And the feel of this pillow, y'all, is just, oh my God, I don't know how to explain it. Their down alternative microfiber is hypoallergenic and it gives the feel of down without lifting a feather. Now here's the thing that got me, y'all, and that is this zipper and not just any zipper. It's easily adjustable, so you can literally unzip it on each side, and that gives you a more plush feel, more like flexibility, you know what I mean? When it's unzipped, or if you want to zip it, that gives you more of that firmness. See what I mean? So you can adjust your pillows. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I personally have been sleeping on it firm. I prefer to keep it firm. You feel the bounce back. It's not too soft, it's not too firm. The memory foam is cooling infused. So the pillow is literally cool. I sleep hot, so I have appreciated that so much. I'll sleep with one, or sometimes I'll put the other one underneath my back. I have problems, have always had problems with sleeping through the night, waking up multiple times in the middle of the night, waking up with pains, 
whether it be my neck, whether it be my back. Now I've taken a lot of different steps to make that a lot better. But this right here, I feel like is just the cherry on top. It has taken my sleeping experience to the next level, y'all. The importance of a good pillow, I didn't really understand it until I had it. So it's one of those things where you don't know what you're missing out until you actually experience it. Right now, you can buy two marble pillows and save 25% or buy four marble pillows and save 40% with my link in the description box below. So if you are looking to level up your sleeping experience, elevate, add some luxury to your bedding, definitely check Marlo out. Okay, y'all, let me get out of this robe, okay? Because we got places to go. Okay, we ready. It's giving we outside, okay? <laughs> Come on, y'all, let's go. I first want to start by saying I did not expect to find so many clearance deals for outdoor furniture at Home Goods. So if you have not been to Home Goods, make sure you stop in because I went to several and you'll see in this video that those prices were marked down, honey. You'll also see a lot of these little different type of design sets, perfect for smaller patios, patio areas, porches, apartments, that kind of thing. And I love the ones that are easily stackable so you can kind of put them to the side if you ever need extra space. Now this big planter is not necessarily my style, but y'all know I love a good wood piece. It was huge. I was standing beside it because it literally came to my hip. I couldn't find the price on this one, but I did find the price at another store later on. But look at this. I love those wood tones. I don't know if the camera's picking it up completely, but it's more of like a blue gray, like a gruge or a <laughs> blage. <laughs> Um, I just like that color. It kind of changes up from the normal black and white that you'd normally see. Uh-uh, sir. Not today. And normally I don't really care for these kind of things, but I thought these little mushrooms were super cute. They were heavy. Saw a setup too. I don't know. I just thought they would be cute in the yard. Here's another unique set of planters. They are wood, but they are a painted gray wood. Kind of like a gray wash though, cause it's wood and gray toned together. I shared this for the sole reason that Home Goods is just the place to come. We don't really care for this, I'm sure, right? But there is somebody that this is their dream piece and that's what I love about Home Goods. I always love the planter heads. Always, always, always. And y'all know, I've said it before, I am just waiting for the day that I can find my planter head that I can relate to. Give me an afro, give me some locks, give me, give me something that I can put in my outdoor space. Now, I know a lot of y'all don't have the green thumb. I'm not perfect, but here is for my faux lovers. They have a lot of really deep, lush, greenery for your outdoor spaces i love the succulent pieces i just i don't know i just really love the succulent i think it's the closest thing to me to like a real looking plant i don't know something about these that i love do y'all love succulents let me know this was a really nice modern little kind of stool it was so heavy i could barely turn it um, but make sure you are looking closer at these things y'all you see that less than half the price another nice neutral wood tone piece this is like a fire pit and y'all the markdowns are real do you see that this would be beautiful as just either a centerpiece for your sitting area even off in the corner as a pair if you could find two it has your lava rocks and what you need inside Here's another one, kind of more slim and taller. This is the brand, and these are the prices. I'm telling you, look at this. They, they basically use this like a trash go, oh my gosh. How cute is this little blow up pool, y'all? There's a part of me that just wants to get one of these at some point, even if it's to fill it up for one night, me and my girls, get some wine, get some drinks, 
and just have fun. <laughs> Here is another bright clean set. Um, I believe these are a three piece. So it's like two chairs to each table. That was also on clearance. If you look close, it had that mixture of the wood, the black and the white. And I like that combination. Now, I didn't really care for this table, but I'm showing you the chairs because I think it's a really simplistic and versatile design on the chairs and a really good price to kind of mix with different types of tables. They were $34.99 a piece. And I loved how that wicker had different tones. And I mean, don't get me wrong, the table's not bad, definitely with some different chairs, just not together. This little black bistro set I think would be perfect for either like a little corner spot in the backyard, uh, an apartment patio, a smaller patio. Very minimal, but you can kind of jazz it up with some pillows. Now this set right here, y'all, if I didn't already have a vision for my patio area, I would have gotten this. I love this. First of all, it looks extremely comfortable. Throw some cushions on there. Oh my gosh, the design. Do you see this? It was nice and wide. It was just tall enough. The wicker, the quality, just the unique design of it. I was over here for a second because I was just admiring how beautiful this set was. I absolutely love that. And I think that's a good price for that set. Now, when we think of outdoors, sometimes we forget about the basics, fans. These are perfect little fans that you can put outdoors in the corner on a table just to kind of add that extra breeze if you need it. Also on sale. I loved the color and design of these, the white and the gold fan on the inside. I, it's the little things for me. A lot of people ask where I got my TV console in my living room. This isn't the exact same one, but I got it from Home Goods. I'm showing this just to remind you that when you see these beautiful pieces, you get them at that time because the next time you come back, they will not be there. Um, this is another very beautiful console table. Now I know we always stop by the rugs, that beautiful display that we love to see. But don't forget that they also have outdoor rugs over there as well. Here is one for example. I know it's easy for us to stick to the ones that are already rolled up and around the store, but look at the large display. A lot of those are for outdoor as well. Now you can go through them, kind of pick through and see what's there, fill them and check the materials. But another way to find out is it actually is marked indoor, outdoor. And that's where you'll find a lot of different colors and designs. And you'll also notice the price is really good in comparison to the regular rugs. This one right here I thought was really, really pretty and unique. It was such a good size for that price, y'all. I was kind of sitting there looking at it for a while. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with something solid for my rug outdoors, because once you go with a print, it's kind of a commitment, but beautiful. Now this is way far from my personal taste, <laughs> but I like decor and design enough to appreciate this. Another one of those pieces where somebody is gonna look at that and think that is their dream piece. I'm waiting for my dream piece, but this was a really, really interesting piece to me. And I think it was very well made. And I think in the right space, it would be perfect somewhere. This is another piece that's not necessarily my style, but in an outdoor space with colors that complement it. This could be a conversation piece. I think that it's very, very beautifully made. Nice, heavy, beautiful. Now, clearly I was just feeling the wicker vibes. I liked this chair. Obviously, that cushion would need to be switched out because that is definitely cloth. This is for the indoors. Um, 
but it's versatile because you can switch out the cushions. I thought this was cute. This chair is not for outdoors, y'all, but it's something about that blue clay. I think I'm gonna need a blue clay piece. It's been calling me for quite some time. I love this chair. Now let's talk lighting. Lighting, lighting, lighting. Beyond the bulb lights and the path lights, don't forget lamps go outdoors as well. The moment I looked at this, I knew it was an outdoor lamp. You can just kind of tell the way it's structured and the material of it. but this would be beautiful in an outdoor space. It's by Tommy Bahama and it was also on clearance. Boom, you see it. And all I can think is that big light there, the way the material is threaded on the sides, it would give off such a beautiful light at night. I just think of those things, <laughs> but this would be a beautiful light to add some ambiance to your outdoors. Here is another fan by the same brand, but it's actually much bigger. Black, solid, very, very simple. I like that design. And here is an addition to the previous light. I think they're kind of like same vibe, but also different type of style if you don't want like full lamp and you want like legs and minimal sleek design this is a good choice for that it's a different brand too which is strange because they look so much alike but that's another one over there be cute as a set now don't mind me don't mind me i'm just admiring the beauty of this couch again one of those things that's really not my style <laughs> But I can admire certain designs. Again, that boucle type material. This was very, very sleek, elegant, clean, and I thought it was beautiful. I'm just more of a comfy couch sectional kind of girl. These chairs here just give me very vacation, very worldly, simple, extra seating. Put your sunglasses on. It's a vibe, okay? I'm not sure exactly what we would call this. I wanna say it's like a planter tray, side table. Look, this is one of those things where it can be what you want it to be. I would put plants on it or I would put pieces that go outdoors. Now this honestly, minus the colors, I'm not a fan of the dark blue in design, but it's more my speed. Something I can sit on comfortably, but also kick my legs up and lounge at the same time. One thing I noticed about this is it was very well made. The wide, modern wicker design, not the thin, super boxy ones that you see often. And for my neutral lovers, this is a beautiful set here. I don't know if it's just the sun setting on it <laughs> or how those wood tones with the wicker are blending, but this is just a very calm, cool, neutral set. This was one of my favorite. but you can see the sun setting on my arm. It's literally like one of my favorite times of the day. Sunrise or sunset, which do you prefer? Now there is a version of me that will have chairs like this, but I will wait until I have a pool and can get out and relax on something like that. These are a super vibe, also on clearance. They were kind of dirty though, so I can see why they're on clearance. This is me, cause I couldn't help myself. And they are so comfortable y'all. I was just relaxing a little bit, just, just kicking back. I will have chairs like this, but they will be poolside. Hey girl, mm -hmm, I'm here. Another three piece set, very similar to the very first one I showed you, but this is all black, very sleek, very simple. Okay. Now I had to show this section here for a couple different reasons. Love the wood tones, the tan, the beiges. But this print here with the palms, the green, that deep dark hunter green, it's not something I would normally go towards, but I really love that color combination. I just like those dark greens with the light greens, just the hint of like that orange. I love the entire vibe of these very thick cushions too. Tommy Bahama. Also love these. Can't go wrong with a nice little neutral beige. Now this right here, 
favorite print, favorite colors of the day. I love a nice teal, minty green. I don't know if it's coming off on camera like that, but this is one of my absolute favorite colors. It gives me pastel, but still mature and the print is perfect. Now these cushions, I think people pass them by. These cushions are a perfect way to switch up your color story on your outdoor space to completely make over your already set patio furniture without having to invest in a completely new set. I was looking at these two here because these are literally the same size as the two dark patio chairs I have on my patio. But I said, no, let me relax because I'm actually going to get a new patio set. Until I do that, I'm not going to focus on bringing more you know decor in just yet but take a look at all of this like this is a like I said a perfect less expensive way to make over the furniture you already have now this light fixture here um, light fixture <laughs> I did the fingers because it has no electrics it has no bulb it's not technically a light fixture what I would do for something like this is get like a puck light put it in there the ones you get off of Amazon that you can either just press get a remote people forget that these are perfect ways to add elegance and a more indoor vibe to your outdoor space and of course I found the pillow the matching pillow to the print that I absolutely loved I put it in my basket y'all because I was about to start this thing did I just wanted to live with it for a second okay how beautiful is this i'm normally not a print girl but this one is speaking to me i had to remind myself that we are not at that phase just yet so moving along here's a change from the three piece sets that we've seen this is a four piece set they've got more seating options this is a good mix a good mesh of the darker lighter tones for my neutral lovers but that can also go with a with a darker vibe now we're at home goods number two <laughs> y'all i love this i absolutely love this now i can't imagine exactly where i would put it because in my mind i was over here thinking oh my gosh where can i put this where can i put this i loved that the planter pots had the drainage holes the black trim the terracotta tones oh my gosh they also had the plant section but i saw more of the succulents i saw different options here i preferred this section because they had a lot of a lot of more updated pieces that you can either hang put on the wall this one was absolutely beautiful i love the understated pop of color in these Now, if you like that vibe, but you're not necessarily in love with the colors, here's another perfect choice for you. you got the black frame, just the green, dark, lush greenery. I thought this was super, super cute, like a little mini bird bath. Of course, it was broken, but if it wasn't broken, I probably would have gotten this. I just thought it was really cute and unique. That was also on clearance. And boom, planter number two. <laughs> There's the price. Here's your friendly reminder that sometimes if you want to, you just gotta go to multiple stores. It's just a nice wood and white ceramic planter. I think it was overpriced, honestly, for the size, but anyway. Here is another planter pot situation. Probably less my style. They didn't have the drainage holes, but those could be drilled in. A little more boxy than I would like, but it is a fraction of the cost of the first one. It is just one row, but it is still cute, just not my style. Again, different store, different thing. This matches that table I showed you before. I love this print. I think this is kind of like a Mediterranean type vibe. It was just so heavy. Now I gotta get the price for you. And the big mama succulent frame. Oh my goodness, this was gorgeous. It even had kind of like rocks in it, just like a whole vibe. I got it in different lighting too, but this was gorgeous. Y'all are probably tired of succulents, but I'm never tired of them. <laughs> They're beautiful. Another three piece set, this time in a dark gray. It's more of that rope material versus the wicker, but really nice quality. This one was very solid and firm.
Mm, a baby. Mm, three piece set. Mm. These ladies were over here talking to me while I was recording this part. That's all I can think about when I look back at this footage. But I do think that those pops of wood on the arms, the back, do make this piece a little more unique. This is not something I would buy. But again, that boucle was speaking to me. The seat was also very wide. I did like that. It was actually comfortable. But the little bow thing, it's more like a, maybe like your teenager's room in my mind. <laughs> but it's nice. Um, I just like the fabric and the material. This little table, yes, please. It's giving flower. It is giving texture, a fun pop of decor. I love this piece. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. And you know I love anything flowers. The shape, the trim, the gold. I love it. There's so many pieces within these chains that you can put together to create one vibe, one look. You just gotta get creative. Now this is also a cute little set. Let me move this pillow because it's throwing me off, okay? But look, very, very nice. It's given bistro, it's given cup of coffee, it's given breakfast, it's given let's chat real quick. I love, love, love this. This is really nice. Tommy Hilfiger. Look at these pillows. Who remembers the pool I showed y'all earlier? Tell me this is not perfect for that pool. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. I just had to show y'all this. I love those colors. Mustard yellow is always a fave. Orange, not necessarily so much. But together with that, like, muted pink, it's so fun. Now I just got one question. Who else has seen this lady, okay? I always see her. Is anybody buying her or does she just live there? Now these little dishes to put whatever you want in. We're just super cute, super elegant, super heavy and solid. But these bookends, honey, these bookends are so gorgeous. Let me wait till you get to the second pair, but take a look at it. Very unique, very different. I mean, it could just be used as an art piece, not even with books, but look at this set. I am regretting not getting this one right here. Do you see the unique design? Oh my God. I'm, I'm salty. I did not get these and I should have gotten that set right there. But you live and you learn. Here's a set that gives you a little more height. I didn't love it, but I wanted to share it just to kind of show that height difference if you're looking for that style. We're done with home goods. Let's go to Marshalls. Now, fun fact, I am not a fan of red when it comes to decor at all. That's just a me thing, but I absolutely love this cooler. The one with the wheel specifically, standing high. It's got so much room in it. I'd want something like this in either like white, taupe, or black. I love this, just not in this color. I'm in between just using my mini fridge or getting something like this. What would you choose between the two to keep your drinks cold? I am always fascinated by these planter stands, y'all, because while it looks so simple and small, I'm sure you have seen them before, they open up so beautifully and I just see the possibilities and how you can style them. Again, it doesn't always have to be plants, but when I think of outdoors, I think plants and this is beautiful. Who doesn't love a good egg chair? This one was beautiful. This one was damaged though. Take a look at this. What are y'all doing in the stores? I, I, I'm confused. It was on sale, but that price was not marked down low enough for the damage on the other side. <laughs> now I'm just showing you how so many things outdoor related are marked down across the board, y'all. This is Marshalls, Home Goods, and I'm pretty sure probably TJ Maxx as well. You see it. The last stop is Target. This color palette here, just take a good gander, take a good look. I don't know if you have gotten a feel for my vibe yet, but I love the soft muted pastel colors. We love a black woman owned launch at Target, y'all. Look at these pieces, absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's me, hey, I'm in the flowers. If 
if you put your phone up, you might be able to scan the QR code. But look at those vibrant colors. Oh my goodness. Yes, girl, I see you. I see you, brown eyed girl. And what? Hello? Yes, honey, I see you. And you better work them blue glasses. Uh huh. All right. Some gardening vibes. Y'all yeah, know I'm going to start my little collection once I really get into gardening. But this is me getting some inspiration beforehand. I lied. The last stop was actually Home Depot. And before we go in, I noticed that they had some of their pergola designs on the outside. Just look at the vibes. Oh my God. So I'll be honest, Home Depot is more on the traditional side, in my opinion, but they do still have some quality pieces. This four-piece set was nice and neutral. The cushions were very thick. The chairs had a swivel and they looked very comfortable. And while they weren't on clearance, they were on sale. Here is a good family table, lots of room, lots of seating space. All I remember is these type of chairs are so comfortable because they rock like back and forth. Now let's talk about umbrellas, y'all. I need y'all to chime in on this for me, okay? I'm not a huge fan of umbrellas. For me, it gives me kind of cheap, but it might just be in my head, right? I'm thinking of maybe getting an umbrella for above the hammock, cause I could take it down, pop it back up quickly. But what do you think? Are we fans of the umbrella? Do you have an umbrella? I don't know if I like the look. Here is a pergola from Home Depot. They have this design from a lot of brands and it is nice, it's just not the look that I'm going for. I do like that it has the covering on each side, so I'm sure that helps very, very well for the wind. And it is a pretty good price as well. Back to the umbrella, but this is a different one, y'all. This one has lights underneath it. Not a bad price. This is a very big umbrella as well. I think I went under it so we could really get the vibe, yeah. This is us underneath the umbrella y'all have to tell me i think i'm gonna end up getting an umbrella but i'm not sure but i do like the lights i do like the lights also do not forget home depot has outdoor rugs as well they don't have a huge selection but they do have a nice selection at affordable prices this rug looks so much like the cushions i showed you at home goods right I did like the color mesh up of this rug as well. Let's go out to the garden. Oh my God, do you see that sun? The sun is setting y'all and it is beautiful out here. Let's get some inspiration. A grill is honestly probably going to be the last thing that I purchase. Let's be clear, I'm not going to be out here grilling all the time. But when this is all said and done in my backyard, I am going to throw a barbecue. I am going to take the time to celebrate all my hard work and enjoy that backyard space. But tell me, what type of grill do you guys have and what do you prefer? I need something with space on the sides to sit things on. But gas, propane, charcoal, what do you think and why? Is there a certain grill that you would recommend? Brand links, please help me out. I had someone say they were gonna get me a grill for my house for me. Your girl ain't got no grill, okay? But it's cool, I got this. Look at these gorgeous, luscious, healthy ferns. Now with the black pergola I'm getting, I think that at least two, a few hanging ferns would be the perfect pop of green, y'all. I have this vision in my mind, so know that these are going to be hanging somewhere in my outdoor space. The difficulty in finding very large plants that are also very healthy is real. Um, but elephant ears, y'all, I love them. They make me think of my childhood. My grandma kept elephant ears in her yard. I love this deep green alocasia plant. Now banana plant, y'all. In my mind, I don't know why, I've been thinking about banana plants in that back corner, but I don't think it's gonna give enough coverage from the back neighbor's window. What do you think? Being here, I was low-key getting inspiration for the front of the house, and it made me want to do a front door makeover. <laughs> but I'm going to relax. I'm going to chill for now. How beautiful is nature? I mean, really. 
at this point I'm just giving you something beautiful to look at now I've been on the lookout for concrete pavers but specifically at least like a 24 by 24 it's been so impossible to find them in that size so if y'all have any suggestions please let me know and in that back left corner y'all I've just been going back and forth about what type of plant or tree that I want to put back there I want something tall and full to like kind of cover from the back neighbor's window I know it's not going to completely cover it but any suggestions please let me know now while a money tree isn't my favorite plant to look at something has been telling me I probably need to plant one in the backyard just as a part of my manifestations have any of you ever planted a money tree in the ground let me know I think I'm gonna have to invest in a wheelbarrow, <laughs> but I'm gonna wait until I get a shed for that. Y'all, I have a confession. I'm ready for fall. I know, I know, don't judge me. It's just been on my mind. <laughs> oh, and hello. This is just my favorite tree in the world, the magnolia tree. Oh my goodness, when this thing grows and is full and big and blooms those gorgeous white flowers, this tree is everything oh my god and a part of my gardening i want to at the very minimum try and grow a fruit tree whether it be peaches lemons mangoes i don't know if any of you seriously have any tips for growing a fruit tree let me know can i just plant it as i would a normal tree should i get it when there's already fruit growing on it let me know <laughs> i have no clue what i'm doing but when i get into it i'm gonna get into it And y'all, that concludes our outdoor vibe a shopping trip. I hope y'all enjoyed shopping with me. I hope I gave you some tips, some suggestions. You learned anything new or you were able to just see what was out there that you might be interested in. Please do share any of your tips, suggestions that I mentioned in the video. I really hope y'all enjoyed coming along with me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Head on down below and I will meet y'all in the comments. I literally never talk, but then when I talk, I talk. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you get what I'm saying? I don't talk, but when I talk, I talk. Gemini, can you feel me? <laughs> and not just browse through the owls. <laughs> that wrong, hold on. You probably notice we have kind of like a different scenery. Sorry, my bracelets are shaking. <laughs> Come on, please. I really can't fucking see. It's ridiculous. Hold on. I literally can't see a thing. I go I want good. I go I want good. I go I want good.